Once hardware has been added, you must configure the relay on that hardware to a specific pump. The NXFM100 only has one relay, so if you only have one pump, you will be configuring that relay to the pump. But if you have an NXFM150 and multiple pumps, you will need to know what pumps were wired to which relays on the 150. To configure a relay, click Manage, Sites, Your Site, and then Configuration. Click the cogwheel to the right of the relay you want to configure, and then Configure Relay. The devices and relay will pre-fill based on the relay you clicked. Enter the name of the pump. This can be the product that is in the tank, or some other identifying characteristic, like the pump's color. The name chosen here will be what appears in the list of pumps on the mobile app, and so you want it to be clear to the drivers what pump they are accessing. Enter the pulse rate of the pulser. This can be found in the spec sheet of your pulser. If you are unsure, ask your installer. Select the tank the relay is associated with, and click Save. Configuring the relays on an NXFM150 is the same. You simply duplicate the process for each relay. It is essential, however, that you configure the relay as it was wired by your installer. For example, if your unleaded tank was wired to Relay 1, you must configure the unleaded tank to Relay 1 in the portal. If you are uncertain which pumps were wired to which relays, ask your installer.